Hello, my name is Tridar, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build Pharaoh Tutankhamun's tomb in Minecraft. Let's get started. So the first thing we will do is take a tour of the tomb you will be constructing. After descending a narrow staircase from the surface, we come into a long hallway here with walls made of diorite and a band of granite on the top and the bottom and a doorway at the end here. And if we go through that, we come into the first antechamber of the tomb. Of course, in times past, this would have been stuffed with treasures and wonderful things. And over here to the side, we have a small annex for the antechamber, stuffed to the roof with yet more treasures. But over here, we have the main entrance to the burial chamber, which is marked out by a granite sarcophagus here with a bed for you to sleep in. And connected to this over here is the treasury room, which is another small room, which would be stuffed with still more treasures. So as you can see, this is a very basic base. It is meant to be sort of a starter base or an outpost somewhere from your main base. As you can see, it's not all that complicated in its floor plan and design. However, it is accurate to Tutankhamun's tomb in its layout and basic plan, so I thought it would be something fun yet uh, small for you to consider constructing. So with the tour out of the way, let's take a look at the very small bill of materials you will need for the tomb, which is going to be 297 blocks of granite, 434 blocks of diorite, 10 cobblestone stairs, 14 torches, and one bed. So, with that said, let's go over here and take a look at the dimensions of the tomb itself. Now, over here, this is the descending staircase. I'm not going to go over this in too much detail, because this is going to depend on how far below the surface you want to dig the tomb into. And if you want, also, if you have a cliff face, you could put the door of the tomb directly there and dispense with the descending staircase. But the first hallway is going to be three by 11 blocks. Now these are the interior dimensions here, three blocks that way and 11 blocks back this way. So ar around that, you want to put a band of granite as you mine out the space. And then all the doorways are two blocks thick. And the first antechamber of the tomb is going to be five by 11 blocks. That's an interior dimension, by the way. Five blocks wide and 11 blocks long this way. And two blocks from the side over here. You would then want to make another, another doorway. And then build a five by five room on the interior here for the second antechamber. Now, the dimensions of the tomb, which are in this doorway over here, the interior dimensions of those are five by nine with your three by four sarcophagus in here that you can put your bed to sleep in. And on the side over here, this doorway is for the treasury and the dimensions of that is going to be five by five blocks. So it's another five by five, just like this one was over here. And let me give you a good top-down view of the entire layout of the tomb. As I've said, this is accurate to the tomb that is in the Valley of the Kings. Of course, it is one of the smaller tombs in there. But I thought I would start out with just a, a small, basic tomb and see how you like it. If you want me to construct any more designs of tombs, if you care to build those, that'll depend on how well the video is received. Now, of course, all the walls are five blocks tall with diorite in the middle and granite on the top and the bottom here. The diorite is meant to represent the fine white plaster that is put on the walls of the tombs and the granite is meant to represent the red ochre paint that they would usually put to define the registers of the tomb to paint things on. Of course at this scale we can't really paint anything on the tomb and in fact, actually, I think only this room, only the burial chamber in Tutankhamun's tomb, had things painted on it. The rest of them were just 
plain white. So I hope you enjoyed Faro Tutankhamen's tomb tutorial. As I've said, it's just a basic little starter base that you can make somewhere or have an outpost when you don't feel like constructing a large base somewhere. So have fun building and I will see you next time.